Welcome into the Huskers Radio Network podcast. I'm Jessica Cootie, and we've got another spring football episode today, and it's all about the QBs. Heinrich Harburg, of course, the veteran in the group after he took over the starting role last season, helping along the two incoming freshmen and all of these guys working with a new quarterbacks coach this spring, Glenn Thomas. They are all battling it out in the Husker Spring League, but you can tell all of them are excited about the wide receiver group they are throwing the ball to. I get into all of that and more with the Huskers quarterbacks. Here are my conversations with Heinrich Harburg, Danny Kalen, and Dylan Riola. Here with Heinrich Harburg. Well, how's it going this spring? It's been really fun. Um, excited to compete again. You know, get back out here with all these guys, some of the new guys, and you know, even the older ones too. What was your goal going into before you even hit the field? But following last season, and then with the off season and the match rolls, all of that. What What did you want to attack personally? Uh, I wanted. There's a few things last year that you know I felt like if I would have done better and we would have done better as a team. Uh, we would have won a lot of those close games. So that's those are some little things that we identified and wanted to attack this spring so that when it comes time this year, you know, we're ready to go. In terms of like, you know, just the mat drills and the offseason workouts, uh, how ready were you guys to attack that being that you kind of knew what to expect this time around? Yeah, I mean, you know what's coming. So at sometimes it's like, oh, gosh, like you you know what 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 is coming. Um, but at the same time, you know, as long as you have the mindset of what you had last year of I'm just going to attack this and you kind of just flush it and, you know, don't think about what's happening. Just do it. How has it been this spring going into this season being you're the, the veteran quarterback or the guy that has the experience, but just overall kind of leading this offense? How did you approach this spring knowing that? Yeah, it was a different. I wouldn't say I um, changed any way that I approached it. Um, but just some of the ways that I could act, um, having that experience, um, being closer with you know some of the starters, um, and, you know some of the guys who are going to impact us a lot this year. So um, I think being more comfortable with that leadership mindset um, helped a lot. Knowing how much progress you guys made throughout the season, and like you said, how close you were, how motivating was that going into this year? Knowing that you know the things that you did and, and built last last fall. Yeah, I mean, it was kind of like the um, kind of like the mat drills, like you said. You know, we, we know what we have to work on, but at the same time, you really want to flush that. You want to do what we did last year because I felt like our process last year worked really well, and I think we need to repeat that again. But at the same time, you know, got to work on some things. All right, got to ask you about Glenn Thomas. What's it been like working with him? What has he added to the room? Yeah, he's, I mean, a lot of experience, you know, been in the – league for a long time and you know had obviously a lot of college experience with coach rule at other places as well so you know he brings just a wealth of knowledge so you know, I'm glad to have him. One of the things that's new is the communication in the helmets which I understand you guys used some last fall but how will that change the communication between what you hear and what the quarterbacks hear and, and the communication with the coaching staff? Yeah I think you know hopefully that helps us get the play in a little bit faster um, you know maybe you know have a little more secrecy in um, our play calling um, but at the same time you know we have to be able to do to call the plays without it because you know next thing you know it's zero degrees and the speakers freeze or something so you know we can't be completely dependent on that but glad to have it. Um, with uh, Marcus Satterfield too and, and again year two with and, and learning the playbook how has it gone about developing this offense and continuing to take another step here this spring? Yeah I think it's just layers from last year um, we know what we did well last year. We know what we can do well. And then, you know, just building on top of that. And then, um, you know, like I said, working on the things that didn't work for us last year that we need to work, you know, this year, ball security, um, turnovers. So just little things like that that will win us a lot of games. You got Jamal Banks on your team. Uh, it seems like you guys already have a connection. What's it like throwing the ball to him? Yeah, he's a, I mean, he's a veteran receiver that, you know, has a lot of experience and a lot of, he's really talented, uh, really good ball skills, um, can break the field open. So um, giving him a chance is usually a pretty good call. Um, so that's what I try to do. What is that competition element added to this spring for you guys? Yeah, it's fun because it's not just offense versus defense now. You know, I'm half the off or a third of the offense is competing against the other two thirds. And, you know, we're going head to head and, you know, even in meetings, you know, talking crap, you know, the rattlesnake boys um, versus, you know, the golden Knights or the bug eaters. So, um, you know, getting a win every day is priority. 
You know, with the quarterback room, it, it takes all of you guys, and a lot of people might not see on the sideline. I mean, you guys are constantly communicating, and, and it, it's a group effort no matter who's throwing the football. How do you guys go about developing that trust and chemistry? It's not just something that over, happens overnight in the fall. So how does that go about developing here starting throughout the offseason and into spring football? Yeah, I mean, a lot of it's in here. Some of it's outside of here, um, hanging out you know, in the, on the weekends, you know, just doing extra stuff with each other. I mean, that's something that I learned when I got here as a freshman with Adrian, uh, Matt Masker, those guys. So learning from them, um, doing stuff off the field can only help build a relationship that you can rely on on game days. How important is that, though, as a group, uh, the collective effort of the quarterback room? Yeah, it's it's vital. I mean, you can't, you can't be a solo warrior out there at quarterback. You got to have four or five different sets of eyes helping you out. You know, when you come off the field, you don't want to overwhelm the guy, but if he asks a question, you know, you want to be able to answer that. And um, so having, you know, guys that are experienced, guys that know that know what are happening, that know what is happening, um, helps a lot. Seems like uh, the consensus has been, this has been some of the most depth that this program has had in, in a lot of years. You've been here throughout the process, just from O-line, wide receiver, quarterbacks, all of that. How is that? changed and how good is that to, to have so much depth and talent at so many different positions? Yeah, I mean, we've been saying it. I've been saying it since I got here. I mean, depth only breeds more competition. Competition just brings up the level of play just tremendously. So having, um, you know, that much depth and that much competition is going to help us in the in the season. You know, being in the Big Ten, we saw it last year. I mean, three quarterbacks go down. Um, I mean, you got to and other positions as well. You know, you got to have guys that are ready to go, ready to step up and play. All right. Uh, first scrimmage on Saturday, what are you looking for out of the offense? I think we just need to uh, have some explosive plays, take care of the ball. Uh, and I think the rest will take care of itself. Appreciate your time, Heinrich. Thank you. All right. Joined now by Daniel Kalen. Danny, as you like to go by, uh, how's it felt out here this spring? It's been awesome. Um, it's, it's kind of a, a part of my football career that I've been looking forward to for a long time. So um, it's been good to get out here, kind of start getting to the speed of the game of college football. Um, been learning a lot, been making some mistakes, but overall I'm pretty happy with the way it's been going so far. Before you even got on the field though, how much did you feel like you grew just what you guys did in the weight room, the mat drills, all that stuff? Yeah, that stuff was huge. Um, I mean, just from the start, I, I think I put on like seven pounds um, from you know when I got here to the start of spring ball and then um, I just think some of the stuff with Matt drills and the way they, they push us has just not only made me stronger but also mentally tougher. Um, they put us through a lot, and it, it was really a good a good um, you know off season, I would say. So, what are some of the biggest adjustments that you've seen so far um, out here and getting on the field for the first time in spring ball? Yeah, biggest adjustments, like I said earlier, just just the speed of the game. Um, you know, guys are flying around. Uh, we have a great defense that, that is never running the same thing twice in a row, so it kind of keeps you on your heels, um, and I think that's something that's been a big adjustment for me, but I feel like I'm learning a lot, and um, it's only making me better. You know, um, the competition thing that you guys are doing, a lot of people have been talking about that, but how much fun is that, and how good is that to have that, that experience where you guys are competing constantly? No, they kind of they implemented that out of nowhere, and it, it's been awesome to, um, honestly, it gives us a lot more reps, but also just building up the competition that only makes guys go harder and kind of have more fun so overall I've been, I've been really liking the competition stuff yep and Elliot Brown's your GM right mm -hmm. and he's quite the coach on the sideline uh you know he's he's a coacher upper so how has he been as the GM you you, you think he's a pretty good GM Elliot's a great GM he's, he's got us a good squad um and he's like you said he's always helping out coaching and kind of giving pointers and, and helping getting us going so mm -hmm. um Isaiah Nair I say you, you you seem to have a great connection with him you guys have made lots of plays and yep. just even from the practice that I, I watched you hit him several times how's that gone developing that relationship with him and how good is it to have a target like that it's been great you know he's super talented um a big body so he can he can make some bad throws look good sometimes but um it, it's been great to have him as a target and um I just think us being on the same team, we started to build a connection into someone that I can really rely on to, you know, make plays for me. Not just him, there's a lot of talent in that wide receiver room. How, how exciting is that as a quarterback to be able to work with those guys? Super exciting. It's a really talented group. Um, you know, some of the transfers that came in are really talented. Some of the young guys from last year that were able to get some experience are really talented. So um, it's, a, it's a group that's going to be able to make a lot of plays for us. They already are, um, and I'm really excited about them. You know, and a, a veteran offensive line, how much has that helped too, being behind a, a lot of guys that have played a lot of football already? Yeah, it's helped me kind of build some confidence because, you know, they kind of know what they're doing and it kind of makes it a little easier on, on, the, on the QBs when we're, when we're playing that O-line group. So um, super, like you said, 
tons of experience. Um, they know what they're doing, and they're a really great group. So it's, it's really helped me out. All right, tell us about Glenn Thomas and, and what he's like in that quarterback room. Coach Thomas is awesome. You know, the biggest thing that popped out to me is just how, how smart he is about the game of football. Um, but other than that, he's super personable, gets on us, coaches us really hard, um, but he's also just a really good dude that, that we can talk to and just helps us out with anything we need. So he's been awesome. One of the new things is the, the communi communication in the helmets. How has that been for you adjusting to that and, and kind of that, managing that communication that you're hearing in your ears? It was definitely really different at first. Um, the first day, it was, a, it was a little tough sometimes to kind of hear, but getting used to it, I feel like I think it's a lot easier for sure, and it, it's, it's, it's been really good. So um, kind of took a minute to get used to, but it's, it's been smooth lately. So, You know, with, with college football, the quarterback room is so important, whether it be injuries or just it's a group effort on, on game days. Sure. How has that chemistry been going between you guys in the room, just developing that and really important trust and chemistry? Yeah, we have a great group. Um, you know, we meet meet often to go over plays or go over installs. And um, we've even done some stuff off the field with each other. And just, I feel like we all have a really good relationship. And then on the field, we, we push each other and compete um, to make each other better. So I, we have a really good group. Um, and I feel like we're gonna be able to do a lot of good things in the fall. You talked a little bit about the defense, but um, how good is that to go up against one of the best defenses in the Big Ten? They got a lot of guys that are coming back too, but how much has that pushed you to get better also at the spring? Yeah, like I said, it's really tough, um, but you wouldn't really want it to be easy. So I, I think, it, like you said, it's, it's just pushed me to get a lot better, um, spend more time in film to kind of see what they do. And, and I feel like I've learned a lot just because of the fact that I'm going against their defense. So. All right, um, first scrimmage coming up on Saturday, but then also just to close out spring ball, what are you looking to accomplish uh, personally and then also with this offense? Um, I would just say to continue to learn as much as I can. Um, just getting the playbook and knowing it like the back of my hand is, is really the biggest thing, just so I can be able to execute it at really high levels. So um, definitely looking forward to Saturday um, and then just beyond, just become the best player that I can be. Appreciate your time, Danny. Yep, thank you. Joined now by Dylan Raiola. Well, uh, how's the spring going for you? It's a lot of fun. Um, there's a lot of moving pieces going on, just to getting to know the guys and things like that. But it's just been a lot of fun to just get out and play football. Overall, how would you just describe the last few months since you officially got here on campus to where you are today? It's been a lot of fun, been a lot of work, but it's all worth it. You know, January, February, you're, you're just grinding. You may not see the results now, but when you come out in spring and, you know, you see our guys running, see our guys, you know, how strong they are, you know, you really know they put a lot of work in. I know you probably is a, someone that once works to get to this point and then it gets here and it's official. What are the differences between maybe what your expectations are and, and what it really is? Yeah, I try to just stay in the moment of, of what I need to do in, in each practice. Um, you know, the expectations are out there. Those are definitely goals, but I think you can't get to there unless you go through the journey. And I think that's been a big emphasis Coach Rule has had with me is just staying on the journey and, and just taking it day by day. What have the, some of the biggest adjustments been uh, getting out here and doing this college ball thing for the first time? <laughs> Speed of the game. I think the first day things were going so fast. I was, you know, I, it was fun, but I didn't know what was going on. You know, things were going sideways. and But, you know, it, I think it slowed down a little bit and um, really just trying to get into detail of, you know, the offense and understanding what we're trying to do and accomplish. You know, just And even leading up before you even got on the field, how did you feel about uh, off-season, mat drills, all of that, just getting your body ready to get out on the field? Yeah, it felt really good um, to, to go through mat drills and to be over with it. Um, I think it says something about our team. We do a lot of hard things together, and I think that will make us closer. And, you know, when, when games are on the line, we'll, we'll know we, we did hard things together and we can really latch on. How's it been going learning the playbook and, and diving into all of that? It's been a lot of fun. Coach Thomas, Coach Sat do a great job of installing and really teaching us and honing down on the details. So it's been nothing short but, but just come in and work, and they've done a great job of explaining. So Coach Glenn Thomas is new and, and is known for working with quarterbacks. What are some of the big things that he looks for and, and wants to develop in quarterbacks? Yeah, he just has a high standard for you. Um, you come in every day. You, know, you got to have a purpose of what you do. And, and I, th I really like that he expects a lot out of his quarterbacks. You know, that he's worked with some of the best, you know, Matt Ryan, to just name a few. But it's just been, it's been a lot of work with him. Um, and he's learning it with us too, which I think makes it special. You know, for me and Danny, and Heinrich's kind of teaching all three of us, you know, so it's it's been a fun dynamic. I just talked to Danny about this, but the, the communication in the helmets, has that been different? Uh, how was that adjustment? 
The first day was weird, you, you know, you, you're just like, you're not sure where they're coming from, where they're talking, but you just hear something. But I think as we got used to it, it it's very beneficial. We're still trying to figure out how we want to utilize it, but I think it's cool. I mean, you feel like you're in the NFL, but you're in college. <laughs> Yeah. The competition part of it, a lot's been made about that. How much fun has that been? How good has that been for you guys to, to get that those kind of reps? I think it's been a lot a lot of fun. It's been really good for us. You know, you know, there's no hate in the room. We're all pushing each other, trying to get better. And I think every day we get closer and closer, and I think that that's special. Um, you know, we're, we're trying to compete and, and win games, but at the end of the day, we're trying to, you know, be there for each other and support each other. How competitive just is this team, though? I mean, I talked to some defensive guys the other day, and they were hyped up, MJ Sherman, but it just seems like, I mean, you guys want to win no matter who the team is. Exactly. We just want to come out and win. It doesn't matter what what's going on. You know, if you put a football on the field and 11 guys on each side, we're going to go hard and we're going to go compete for, for whatever the, the scenario is. Demetrius Bell is a name we've heard a ton. I mean, even a couple of the defensive backs have brought him up. He's on your team. Tell us about him. What makes him so special as a wide receiver? He's a funny guy at first. I mean, he, he'll he dance and then he'll go run a great route. So that's <laughs> the kind of guy he is. But no, he, he's put a lot of work in. He's came a long way from, you know, since he first got here. So I'm very proud of him. And, uh, you know, I'm just very excited to see what, what he can do in the future. You grew up obviously a fan of this program to be here to be wearing this uniform what what has it been like to actually be here and be embedded in it it's been surreal um i think the last mat drill at night in the stadium you know we were running now and it, it just you know didn't really feel real you now i was very grateful to to be in the position that i'm in to be around such a great coaching staff and great players um, at this university has been special you know, I've talked about the other quarterbacks about that, but how important is it for you guys as a quarterback room to come together to build a chemistry and trust and, and really starting now? Because uh, it takes a group, right, to, to achieve the things you want to do in the fall. It's been it's been cool to, you know, have Heinrich in the room, really teach the young guys, you know, what the standard is, um, how plays are supposed to be run. So I think that's been unique um, to have the experience he's had to share game game scenarios. You know, it, it's been it's been good for me and Danny to hear and um, – it, the competition has been a lot of fun. How do you go about, you know, you talk about being in the moment day by day. How do you go about, you know, each day evaluating how you did and getting getting better from it? Hey, you just got to watch the tape from practice, uh, take care of your body, and get ready to go the next day. You know, there's something new every day, and you just got to prepare your mind and, and for whatever is up, up coming down the pipe. You know, you were obviously had a lot of people that want to take photos when you go to the basketball games. You were at men's, women's games. I think you went to wrestling. Um, why has that been important for you to get involved and, and be there and support your fellow student athletes? You know, you just see how much these people come support our football team and our football program. So, you know, growing up, I was taught, you know, always give back. And that's always been something on my heart is to give back, give my time to the programs, go watch great games. And, um, you know, we have we have great sports in, in our program. So, you know, going out to one, have fun watching them and, you know, to support them. So that, that's really what it was. All right. Um, got the first scrimmage coming up on Saturday, but just overall for, for the throughout the rest of spring, what are your goals for yourself that you want to accomplish here in your first spring? Yeah, I think just keep getting better. Don't make the same mistake twice. Um, I think keep it simple, but, you know, attack it every day. And I think if you can do that, you know, it'll be a fun rest of the spring. Great stuff. Appreciate your time. Yeah, thank you. The Huskers will hold their first scrimmage of the spring on Saturday, which will be three weeks away from the annual spring game. And Husker fans, you don't want to miss your chance to get a first look at the 2024 Husker football team. Be in Memorial Stadium on Saturday, April 27th for the annual Nebraska football red and white spring game presented by FNBO. Tickets are on sale now and are only $15 for adults and $5 for youth aged high school and younger. To secure your tickets today or for more information, visit huskers.com slash tickets or call 402-472-3111. Thanks for listening and watching. Stay tuned right here for much more coverage of Husker Spring Football leading up to the annual spring game. I'm Jessica Cootie with the Huskers Radio Network.